Hello, so we're back Monday and we have a job, yeah? So I'm just curious what you will do on this kind of fault, yeah? So let me show you, let me go on the microscope. This is a charging port problem. Uh, this is a nice speaker. Uh, BO Play A1. One second, because it has a receipt on the back. B and O, yeah? I think that's the brand, yeah? B O Play A1. Has a nice bass speaker and a high frequency one, you know? Looks nice. Battery, and we have the board, the Bluetooth module. The problem with this one is the charging port. So the charging port, we found the charging port inside, broken, completely broken. It's a USB-C port. Let's have a look together. Yeah. Give me a second, let's, let's see what's the story with this charging port. One second, this is a different one. This has nothing to do with our job. This charging port for some reason is not working. But why? Let's plug the charger. So this is from a phone, from a Samsung, some Samsung phone. Let's see why this is not charging. Yeah, one second. It has five volts. One second. Okay, okay, our charging port, our charging port is this one. Now, this is a particularly design. So this is our charging port. So look here. All pins are broken, plus has pins here, yeah? And these pins are used also, okay? So there's no way how can I find this charging port. It's no way. So check here. So that's the board. So you have those pins from here and this. So the charging port is broken. So what you will do in this case? How you will fix something like that? I'm not even trying to get uh, another charging board because probably I will not find it. So how you will fix this speaker how you'll do it hmm? this is a job it has to be done the, the issue is not charging if i try to replace the usb c port with another port it it will not it will not work because the pins are different and my problem is the other pins i don't know what those pins are doing Yeah, yeah. So those pins from here. So how we can fix this port? So it has to be quick. We don't have time to spend time and. If you think to put wires on this, 
on this port that will be long that's too long that's way too long so we can't do it like that we have to do it in a different way and what I'm thinking I'm thinking to use a normal micro USB port How about Samsung one? Hmm? This is a nice port. This is that Samsung. Uh, it's used on many Samsung tablets. So what do you think? What about this? This is a micro USB. The port is too small, that's... Let me see if it's working, if I can, if I can plug the cable. Yes, I can. So let's have a look together and try to make this working. The good part on this speaker you can see everything on the board. So check here. 5 volts, data minus, data plus, 5 volts. So we know the pins. The charging port should be like that. Like that. Hmm? So what do we think we can do it? Probably will be simple, will be easy, the customer will be happy. This is a Bluetooth speaker. So obviously the customer is using this by Bluetooth. So I'll leave this like that with the pins here. I will solder the port here and here. And I will use some wires. And that should do the job. You can't say no to a job, yeah? Just because you don't have the part. Just think out of the box and uh, find another solution. Solution meaning you fix the you fix the thing and the customer can use it so if, if we solve the problem with the charging yeah i don't mean about data lines obviously it will be not data so i will use my flux my rot uh, here and on the other side Good. That's fine there. Lighter. <coughs> okay, let's solder here first. That's okay. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's center in the middle. Uh, microscope. No, really. Yeah, good job. Let me grab the cable out. Let me leave the cable inside, yeah? So if the cable is here, 
that means it will be center I'm just trying to find the right position and after that I will shoulder the port okay Don't forget we have to give warranty three months on this job. It has to be a good job. That's good and on the other side. That's perfect. Okay. It's quite solid now. We can do something more. Uh, this, I think, is ground. Perfect. So the charging uh, the cable. Let, let me connect the cable. Let's figure it out the minus and plus. So the cable is plugged in. Let me open the meter, the multimeter. The multimeter is on. And we have this is plus and minus, yeah. So this is minus, this is plus. No, this is minus, this one is plus. So we have five volts, okay. So this is minus. Minus has to go to ground. One second, one second.
so that's the ground the ground is there now the plus now we need to make the plus connection give me one second the plus it's you can see easily saying five volts that's that's the plus on the board hmm. one second I should take out the charger. Let me take out the charger, yeah. The charger is out. plus and has to go here because that's the 5 volt truck maybe you have a different type of job that's not important important is to find a way and solve the problem Now the final moment we have to test this. Let's test it first. Charger. And we have the charging light and it's taking 0 0.2 is not okay. Should be more. Probably we have to show the data lines. The charging port is solid. Or maybe the battery is too low. But 230 milliamps is not enough. Let's see the data lines. Maybe it's not the data lines, maybe it's something else. Let's unplug the charger. Plug the charger back. And it's still nothing. One amp. Check that. One amp. Yeah? So the battery was too low. Let's unplug the charger. Plug back the charger. One amp. Yeah? So the thing is fixed. That's how you fix a USB complicated USB C port. Broken and actually, when looks like you don't have a solution because the port is unique and it looks complicated. What is left now before we are closing down this? Let's see how this is meant to be. like that like that so this has to be like that 
So we have space. Let's come with some hot glue. So the hot glue not only will make the charging port waterproof, but also it will give you some uh, some straight. It's more solid. Remember, we are fixing uh, hinge with hot glue. Like that, screws, this has to be from inside, one second, because we missed something, this one, so actually this is making the charging port waterproof. Okay. I know one screw was missing. So probably someone else opened this before. Charger, and you have the charging light there, and it's taking one amp. How do you power on this? Uh, here, give me one second. Ah, sorry, the microphone was off. I'm just trying to power up this. So this is on. Well, the battery is too low. I think the battery is too low. Because it's coming on. And it's going off. The battery is too low. But it's taking one amp, so I know for sure this is charging. How do we fix this speaker? Hmm? Like that. Better.
so has no reason to not work because all what we fix is the charging board and it's charging fine probably the battery is too low I don't know if this is working. It's making a noise, yeah? It's coming on. You can hear the noise? The lamp shot is going off. Yeah? So probably because uh, the battery is too low. So you can see the charging right there. How this is working? Now it's on. Now the blue light is uh, we have the blue light. Hey, I found it. I found it on my phone. Bio Play A1. It's working. All done. Okay, so I'll stop this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And don't forget, looks like a complicated, very complicated job, but you can do it easily. Dodgy? Probably, but the job is done. The customer will be happy and we are taking the money. Okay? So see you later or tomorrow. Bye.